bro. How are you? Oh, I'm fantastic. That was some Sunday. That oh, my God. Very interesting Sunday. Some brutal football yesterday, let's be honest. I mean, even the Giant game, was it wasn't exactly a uh, you know, you know, an artistic classic, I'll say that. Let me, let me say this about the Giants, and I, I'm going to say this as a diehard fan of a lot of teams that are terrible, okay? Right. I, yes. I, and, I, and I really mean this. We can spend a lot of time, and we should, talking about a lot of the bad from the Giant game. Daniel Jones was not great outside of nope. when he uses his legs. He's not yep. great. Yep. Yep. He made a brutal decision on the interception. Yep. Whether great it throw to Slayton for the one touchdown. Tremendous. Give him credit for that. Oh, absolutely. That, I give that, him credit was, for that. that was a perfect throw. The Giant defense missed, I think I counted, 13 missed tackles, somewhere in that range, and they were fortunate to win the football game. All of that is true. All of that is true. But in the NFL, when you play 16 of these – Okay, That's and it. you don't win often. I don't give a rat's patoot sometimes how you get it. Wins matter because when we sit here after a loss, no matter how inspiring it was, oh, it was inspiring. They lost. It doesn't matter. I very much look at that in the complete opposite light today. They won a football game. They don't win a lot of football games. And so, you know, you could sit here and and talk about all the negatives, which I'm sure we will, and talk about how this win's not going to mean anything and they're going to go three and 13. You could say that all day. But in the NFL, there's only 16 of these. Every win matters. And if you're a Giant fan, you should be happy this morning, this afternoon, because you won a football game. And that's important. No question about it. And and I want to give credit to Ron Rivera for taking the shot at the end. I mean, I you know, to me, you're a one and four, now one and five football team. Where are you going anyway? Like you said, you don't get a lot of opportunities when you're that kind of a team to win. And Rivera went to win the game. And and I and you know, they didn't it didn't happen. Uh give Dexter Lawrence who made a nice play on that, uh mm-hmm. you know, on uh, putting the pressure on Allen. But uh, give give Rivera credit for taking the gamble and going for it. I, I, I gotta tell you, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Yep. Because even yep. though, look, it's yep. easy now to say, hey, it didn't work out. Okay, of course right. it didn't work sure. out. Sure, But But I'm not necessarily a buyer that, hey, the, the Washington football team had all the momentum. So that means in overtime, they're going to win the coin toss and right. march down right. the field. Right, means I don't nothing. know that. Yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah, so I, I love, especially because the Giant defense is on their heels right now. I mean, the Giant defense has been out there for... A lot of time when you think back to it. I mean, because the Giant defense scoring a defensive touchdown, which was great and was the difference in the game. Right, put him right back out there again. Yeah, it put him. It was like one of the negatives of that yep, is that yep, you yep. get right back out there and watch Washington convert on a third and five and a third and seven. So I think Ron Rivera made the right choice. It just didn't work. You know, they couldn't execute on the two point conversion. And you know what? Never apologize for winning a football game in the National Football League. Because it works the other way, too. You can play the greatest game in the world. If you lose, you lose. They all count the same. Yeah, so no doubt. Look, I, I can't convince every Giant fan of that. I just know how it feels. I, I have a lot of experience, as you do as well, rooting for loser teams that never win. And I like to cherish wins because they don't happen often. So, you know what? Cherish this win if you're a Giant fan. You want a football game. Good for you. And, and you know, you can if you're a Giant fan today, you could fantasize that you're right in the mix to win the division. Yeah. Because, you know, Philadelphia lost yesterday. Now you're playing the Eagles on, on Thursday in Philadelphia. But, I mean, uh, you know, the Eagles are not uh, no given that they're going to win this game. They're sitting there at 1-4-1. Four, and one. Dallas plays the Cardinals tonight, which is not an easy game. Uh, all of a sudden, if the Cowboys get beat tonight and they're sitting there at 2-4, and four, you know, you're the Giants and you're a game out of first place with 10 games to play. I yeah. mean, let's, I mean so, sure. you know, you could, you, could, uh, you could play that game in your head if you're a Giant fan. Why the heck not? I mean, am I confident that they're going to beat the Eagles no, on Thursday? No. no. But it's not I, impossible. I, no. And, and, like, one week has nothing to do with the other. So None. if your None. feeling is, hey, they didn't play well enough yesterday to beat the Eagles, sure. But did we do that on the other end when they played the Rams and lost a tough fourth game? Like, right. oh, well, they played. Every week is different. It's a completely different story. There were a lot of negatives from this game. I mean, one thing that jumped out at, I think, all of us right from the get-go is the fact that Andrew Thomas wasn't out there to start. Right. And so it led to the belief of, wow, did Joe Judge bench Andrew Thomas because of his play, which would be a a terrible sign for Dave Gettleman when you use a top pick on him. That turned out not to be the case. turned out to be the case that he had some kind of team violation, which Joe Judge said is not the end of the world, but actions have consequences. And so 
he had to serve a little bit of a penalty. In yeah, that I think penalty he missed was, a meeting Saturday night, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. He got he came late to a team meeting. I think yes. that was the deal. Yeah, that's the deal. And you know what? That's well described by Joe Judge. It's not right. the worst thing right. in the world, but right. you can't have it happen. Right. So right. he ends up starting Matt Pert at left tackle. They kind of rotate in and out. But at first, I'll tell you, when he's not on the field, my thought was, wow, Joe Judge is benching Andrew Thomas, no. and I certainly wouldn't be a fan of that this early into his NFL career. No, no. but that wasn't the case. But I, I do have one big criticism of Joe Judge. This this one really ticked me off. All right, tell me if you agree with me on this. It's thirteen to ten Giants. They have the football to start the second half. They've got a fourth and two from the Washington thirty-eight yard line. Yeah, no, I hate that. I'm with you hundred percent. I hate it. He, he lines up to go for it, which is great. You should go for it. Right, I mean, that's, right. yes, of course go for it. It's fourth and two from their 38-yard right. line. And you're, and you're 0 and 5, may I yeah, Yes, and you're 0 and 5. Absolutely. And, you know, I don't know how much momentum there is in this sport, but Washington kind of gained it by the way they ended the first half. Let's face it. Yep. They yep. really turned the tide on this game. This game had a chance to be a blowout. I thought right. it was going to be at one Well, point. until the roughing the kicker penalty that set up the touchdown. I mean, yeah. I really did. That, that kind of turned the tide in this game, like you it, said. It, absolutely, and I give Rivera credit because I—I'll be honest with you, man. After that, running the kicker penalty, I don't know if I would have went for it. I, I don't know if I would have. I'm not sure. And he did, and it he worked did. out, and it changed well, he the played game. That, you know, look, he played the whole game that way. I mean, give yeah. Rivera credit, right or wrong. And, and by the way, the only reason, because it is like, well, that's kind of inconsistent. You like aggressiveness, but you wouldn't have gone for it. The only reason, Joe, I leaned at that moment to not going for it is because your other option was to pin the Giants back at their own one-yard right, line. Right, right, Like, if you're telling me that wasn't the other choice, then, yeah, maybe I do go for it. But if the option is I'm pinning the Giants back at their own one or I'm going for it on fourth and four, I, I don't know. I kind of – I don't know how you felt. I leaned towards – you know what? Let me just pin him back at the one. Let me play defense. I'll get the football back. I'll get good field position. But to Ron Rivera's credit, he didn't have that thought process. No. Good for him. No. No. And it changed the game. But I, I really thought on fourth and two from the 38, man, Joe Judge, you got to go for it. And then yeah. you're special because you love this. Oh, I hate he it. Try to draw him off sides oh, with the hard I count. mean, look, it, it does work occasionally, you know, but – I, I, I can't say. If you're going to go for it, go for it. And I hate punting from the 38-yard line. I mean, I understand they take the five-yard penalty and they go back five yards. But, I mean, you know, come on. I mean, you're on, you're on the other team's 38-yard line. Play with some uh, guy you know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. Uh, and I think because they won, you know, we kind of forget about it. Yep. So my initial yep. point, hey, they yep. won the game, yep. all is right in the world. It's, it's good to win and you should enjoy it. But there were moments throughout this game, and that was one of them where, I don't know, man. I mean, that's, that's a moment where... You go for it. I mean, because yeah, I, I agree I with agree. you. I, I hate punting on the other side of the field like that when I'm on the opponent's side of the field. Yeah. And, and the play there would have been, I'll tell you, what. I, uh, the play to me is have the quarterback run. Have some kind of a run-pass option with the quarterback to, you know, utilize his legs, which obviously he does very well. Hey, man, right now. Right? right I mean, now, let's be honest about it. That's his strength. That's his strength. I mean, that is the, the best part of Daniel Jones's game is his legs. And what I liked yesterday is that they called more designed runs for him. More, right. And there's a risk And that's involved. a play I know is fourth and two plays where you can, you can have the quarterback run. If you got a quarterback yeah. that can run, why not? If instead of the traditional, oh, let's run it up the middle or to play fake and try to dump it, you know, throw it three yards to get two, you know, uh, how about the quarterback running there, you know? And Joe, they have a quarterback who can run. Well, that's <laughs> it. Well, if, if you, yeah, I mean, look, I wouldn't do it with Joe Flacco, but I mean, no. you know, with no. Daniel Jones, yes. No, absolutely. I mean, Daniel Jones' strength right now, and I'm not saying this is all he can be. I'm just saying in this moment when you're trying to win football games, and that should still be the priority, his strength is what he can do with his legs. And they, they designed runs for him last week. They didn't yep. do uh, yesterday. They didn't do that in the previous week against Dallas. We saw a heck of a lot more of that this week, and I thought that was a good thing. I mean, obviously the interception is – look, the deal with the interception is he tried to throw the ball away. No, he did. He did. And he – he didn't execute it. No. Well, the, the, the guy made a great play on it too. Now, look, we I, we talked earlier. You you thought it wasn't. Uh, it, it should have been overturned. I actually thought it was a pick. I mean, it looked like most of his body's in the end zone. Whatever the case, Jones has got to get, and it didn't matter in the outcome. Jones has got to, you know, just somehow just launch that ball into the seats. You know what yes. I mean? It can't be close. Now he was he going backwards and kind of getting hit as he did it, but you just got to launch that ball into the seats, and that's it. 
it, because that was in a lot of ways such a good drive. It was a really oh yeah, it was a great drive. drive. And we've seen the Giants have a couple of those drives this year where they had these like long, long drives. And then we saw it in the Pittsburgh game. They had that. Remember, they had that long drive opening yeah. day. Yeah. They got all the way down to like the five yard line, and then he had that pick when Bud Dupree hit his arm when he threw the ball, That's and right. Haywood picked it off. Yeah. And that, and that was what, it, and that pretty much was the game when that happened, right there. And that's what tends to happen, because look, yep, if they yep. lose this game, there's a yep. lot of those key moments in this football game. We talked about one earlier when Ron Rivera went for it in the first half after the running into the kicker idea. But that interception was a game-changing moment, especially because Washington took advantage of it. I mean, they marched down the field and got three points out of it when the Giants were going to end up with some semblance of points. So that was a, a game-changing moment, but credit to the defense – Kyler Fackrell, who's been tremendous. Oh, he's been great. Uh, he's been really good. Yep. He made he made the play of the game and play maybe the, the game. play of the season if this thing turns. And look, yep. give Tay Crowder credit, Mr. Irrelevant. He was able to scoop it up and take yep. it to the house. Yep. And obviously that was a monumental play for this giant defense. It was kind of a mixed effort by their defense because I thought they missed a ton of tackles in this game. One thing about the giant defense, though, they do have some guys on this defense. I mean, you know, you mentioned Fackrell. He's been really good. Maybe he had the big sack last week, too. I mean, uh, yeah, you know, that yeah, turned yeah. into a touchdown, you know. Uh, what do you have to pick? It was a pick in the Dallas game that he scored a touchdown on. Yeah. So he's been, a, he's been a factor. There's no doubt about that. Blake Martinez has been very good, uh, you know, as far as a, a tackling machine. How about the James Bradbury? He's, he had a great pick in this game, mm. and he's become like a lockdown corner, that guy. I know. I he know. really he's, is. He's playing like Revis. I mean, that's he, high praise, yep. but I think it's true, at least over the first yep. six games. I mean, I'm not saying he's going to continue to play on that level, but he's been an all-pro cornerback. That's how well he's played this year. You know, Logan Ryan got burnt, got beat on that touchdown. It almost tied the game at the end, but I thought he overall played well. He had a lot yep. of tackles. Leonard Williams played pretty well. He had that one sequence with, you know, back-to-back plays, sack and a, and a, and a tackle for a loss, uh, you know, earlier in the game. You know, so their defense is not bad. It's not. It certainly is much improved from what it was the last couple of years. No and doubt we'll, about it. And we'll see moving forward if getting the first one kind of leads right. to getting right. a lot more of them. If right. it could kind of open up the faucet. It's, it's a tough three-day, one of these short turnaround days. It's never easy to go play that Thursday night game, especially on the road. Right. But, uh, hey, look, I mean, you know, why not? You know, why not? Absolutely. Hey, and you root for the Cardinals hard tonight. That's yep. the other thing you got to do if you're a Giant fan. Let this division remain as pathetic as possible because I got to tell you, man, again, we don't have a lot of experience seeing uh, teams we root for win divisions. I don't care if it's with seven wins. <laughs> I don't Six care. and ten. Six and who, ten wins the division. Who, who, <laughs> who cares? Like, no, of course, bro. Six care. and ten, you're playing a home playoff game. I mean, let's be honest about it. That's what you're doing, right? That's it. So for every Giant fan today, I put it this way, I'd be thrilled if I were you, okay? I would yeah. be looking at it this way. I got to win. The division stinks. Let's go. Bring on the Eagles, baby. Right, right, right. That's what I'd be thinking. I, I couldn't agree more. 100% right. Now, we'll come back, and on the <laughs> other side, we'll discuss something slightly different. <laughs> slightly different. And then we'll get to your calls, 877 Trevor, Hey, Trevor, our quarterback looked pretty good on Saturday. Huh? Oh, my God. Trevor had a nice game. That nice Ooh. half, I should say. He played like about a half. That's all he needed to do. <laughs> As they put 73 on the board against Georgia Tech. Oh, God. Well, that what I witnessed on Saturday, and I was doing the show at the time, so I kind of had it in the background. Right, 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 right. Uh, Certainly changed my perspective as Sunday was going on, put it that way. Can we get Trevor Lawrence and Travis at the ATN? Can we get yeah, both of them? Two for one deal. Let's Can we get go. both of them like, like two like offensive impact plays like immediately? Can we do that? That would be tremendous. <laughs> we'll come back and get to the other football team in town. Carl Banks will join us at three. We'll talk about the Giants' victory. Uh, we'll go around the NFL. We have a World Series officially set. Joe and I were dead wrong in terms of thinking that there'd be crazy upsets because yep. the two best teams are playing in the World Series. Who there knew? you go. Pretty much Actually, that's the way it went down. Yeah. We got there in a weird way, but we yes. got there. Yeah. So we got a ton to get to. And as Joe mentioned, we're only here till 5 o'clock because, hey, there's a big football game on at 5 o'clock today. Stellar. Beautiful. And I got the Chiefs in a knockout pool, which by, which by, which is becoming huge. As Ernie tells me, there's only 15 left in on the knockout pool. And and I survived yesterday. Let me tell you, we'll, we'll get into my, my survival oh. yesterday because I was very fortunate yesterday. with the. You, I got the Chiefs in my other pick, but I was very fortunate with yesterday. You That's were for sure. very, very, very fortunate. No doubt. We'll get to all that coming up. But Ingo and Roberts here in the afternoon.